With us tonight, we have the executive director of the Fairhill International, Carla Geiersbach. Yes. Welcome, Carla. Thank you very Thank much. Thanks for it's coming to, to Cecil.tv, Cecil Weekly. So this is a really exciting event. Yeah. yeah. A three-day three day event, correct? It is a three-day event. It happens over four days, though. We have, uh, so it's an equestrian triathlon, but we need two days to do the first piece of that. So Thursday and Friday are dressage, and that's when our two teammates, horse and rider, uh, work together in what's essentially like a ballet. They work very hard to make it look like they're not working hard. Um, and then that moves into Saturday. Saturday is our adrenaline day, where the horses and riders are galloping 25 miles an hour over um, fences that are as big as your car, um, into water, out of water. It's a, about a four mile course. The thing that's super fun about that is you can get right up along the galloping lanes. And it's almost like when they mic up the football players right. and it makes the game a little more exciting. You can hear the riders talking to their horses as they're going through the course, um, people cheering as they make it through the water complex. Lots of fun. Sunday is um, where we crown our winner based on show jumping, which is more traditional in an arena. Um, the, all of these disciplines are very different, and the thing that makes this a tough sport is having a pair, horse and rider, that can do all three well sure. on that one weekend. Sure, so as you said, it's like a triathlon. Yep. And there is a difference, which you explained to me earlier, between a steeplechase and right. this. What is that difference? Well, steeplechase is a straight out race. The fastest one wins, and that all the horses go at the same time. Um, our cross country day, uh, it is timed and it is a very aggressive time, so they have to be galloping a certain meter per minute rate in order to make that. But we never want horses and riders to meet each other on course. No. So they go at designated intervals about four minutes apart. So viewers don't actually sit in the grandstands, they pick spots throughout. Hill? They do. We have some great tailgating spots that are at different venues. Um, if folks don't know the area, a great place to start is in our craft beer tent, which is right on the main galloping lane um, and really gives them a great view. But the thing that's fun is we have uh, people movers that can get people to different parts of the course. And so if you look in the program and say, oh, I want to see that fence, you can go wherever you want as long as it's not on a galloping lane. And they're all marked. We have designated crossings. It's very easy to figure out. Um, you don't have to be quiet, like in golf, you know, so you can bring the kids, you can bring your dog. DNR has to have them on a leash, um, but it's just a fun day. That sounds great, and that Saturday is kind of your big fun that, day. That is Saturday. Saturday is the day, if you don't know three-day eventing, it's a great introduction. It's the day that we have the Craft Beer Festival. Gore Running Wear is also sponsoring a 5K first thing in the morning, so folks can run the course um, and see all of the fences. Um, the fences are, impressive they're very big and when you stand next to them you're can really tell wow yeah that's that gives a whole nother connection right there right. runners go by where the horses are going to go yeah it'll be that's a lot great. of fun yeah. well let's show the our, our viewers just exactly what our this whole coaster. thing entails all of the information is on our website at fairhillinternational.com you can register for the run on that and you can find out about the schedule and everything that's going on for the weekend Great. I kind of want to go there. I hope you will. Yeah. Come I've join I've never us. seen anything like this. It's fun. Great. Thanks. Thank you.